that away because we you actually got to interview someone who is also really iconic. Yeah, I did. I got to speak <laughs> with Kathy Griffin about her upcoming shows at the Mirage. She is hilarious. Check she it is. out. She's one of the most recognizable faces in comedy with her fiery red hair and stand up to match. The two time Emmy and Grammy winning performer brings her pulls no punches delivery to Las Vegas this Friday at the Mirage. And although that's an introduction, she really doesn't need it. Good morning, Kathy Griffin. Good morning. It is a pleasure to be here, and I'm so looking forward to being at the Mirage at 10 p.m. So stay up late, kids. <laughs> now, you performed recently at the Mirage in June to a three minute standing ovation before your set even started. So, does that go anyway into showing how you feel about being back in Vegas? I can't even believe I'm back working. I mean, let's face it, I got canceled by a former president, and I've been biting and scratching my way back ever since. So, I'm so thrilled that the Mirage is not afraid to have me, and the show in June was sold out, and the audience was incredible and they were forgiving because my voice is a little higher now because I had lung cancer and I have half a lung on my left side and I talk about that too. I make fun of that. I make fun of myself. I make fun of others and I probably will be dancing on stage with knives in a bikini bottom. <laughs> There's nothing like, you know, just your average show for Kathy Griffin. Do you think that's what, you know, makes fans so, uh, you know, will jump through hoops for you? Is it you're self-deprecating, you know, you share everything, you don't shy away from controversy and you, you know, you, you don't pull any punches. Do you think that's why people love you so much when they come see you? Well, first of all, I love that question and the way you phrased it, of course. But I think, you know, it's a time where folks want to hear like a no BS approach because the world is so nuts, we can't act like it isn't. And so I'm looking forward to talking about anything and everything. I talk about everything from my own recovery from freaking prescription pills. And I make that funny because even that can be funny and people can relate to that as well as like cancer stuff and all kinds of stuff we've all been through. And also, you know, let's not forget the Golden Bachelor. So I'm also on a mission to become the Golden Bachelorette, even though I'm married, maybe I can say we're in an open marriage or something, but I'm obsessed with that show. And I have to say as a 62 year old, I do find it a little humorous that they went for a 72 year old, like they couldn't maybe go with a 50 year old or something. So I'm just hoping he lives till the end of the season. Is this an exclusive, Kathy? Are you saying that you know that you want to be the next Golden Bachelor? Are you saying you'd like to go on a date yes. with Gary without your husband knowing? Um, I love both of those ideas. So I think I should go on a date with Gary. Definitely don't tell my husband. So I'm not going to let him watch this at all. And then I think that will lead to me being the Golden Bachelorette. And look, People want to see me go to a fantasy suite. They just do. And by the way, I have a feeling Gary is probably going to maximize the fantasy suite way more than the younger bachelors. And that's what I'm here for. I am here for the ladies that have to take their blood pressure medication, have to take their cholesterol medication. I can't speak, but that's why I'm qualified to be the Golden Bachelorette. Kathy, I, I think, you know, just, just from speaking with you, uh, you you're so creative. Uh, the, the comedy just oozes from you, and, and it, it, it seems to be something you thoroughly enjoy. So for you, what's more exciting? Is it the process of writing or performing or a mixture? Where do you get most joy from these days? Oh, I love that question. I love being on stage. So I'm a touring animal. Um, before I got canceled, I was doing like a minimum of 50 shows a year and I just love it. And so when I step on stage at the Mirage, honestly, this is gonna sound corny, I feel like I'm home. And so having been out of work and not been a, being able to tour for five years because of a, like a political scandal really took its toll. And so I am so thrilled to hit the stage. And the way I write is highly improvisational. So who knows, I might be talking about the latest episode of Love is Blind. And by the way, let's just take a pause. I am living my life around Love is Blind. That show delivers. And I'm not proud. I know I should be watching nothing but C-SPAN and PBS, 
but I can't help it. There's a guy on that show named Uche, and it turns out while the premise of the show is you never see each other, he actually had a full-on affair with one of the chicks in the other pods, and she recognized his breathing, and she was like, Uche? Is that the guy that I slept with three months ago? So I'm in. Like I said, I'm not proud, but I'm in. Kathy, I, th I feel like you and I could sit down and talk for hours about reality TV and, and comedy and just life in general. You, you know, you're such a down-to-earth person. I, I feel like that comes with the territory of having accomplished so much in your career. So do you still strive for personal achievements or is it just enjoying specific things like debuting a new joke or, or performing in front of fans? You know, what, what still does it for you at, at this stage of your career with everything you've done? Well, honestly, nothing makes me happier than the opportunity to make people laugh. So whether, I'm not fussy about it. You know, some people, oh, they won't do commercials or I will only do films. No, no, no. I am happy to make people laugh, whether it's a commercial or a podcast or on stage, but I am most comfortable on stage and I hope to get another stand-up special because I don't know if you know this, I'm actually in the Guinness Book of World Records. I've done more televised stand-up comedy specials than any comedian, male or female, <laughs> living or dead. And while I'm still alive, I hope to do one more and break my own record. Well, well Kathy, you are a, a Guinness World Record holder and you, uh, you, you hold a special place for us here at Morning Blend with your comedy, your down-to-earth nature, and everything you've strived through and got through in life. So thank you as always for joining us. Where can fans get tickets to come and see you perform? You can get tickets on the Mirage website or go to kathygriffin.com and it'll send you there. There's even a link in my bio for my TikTok and my Instagram and all those social media ways as well. Kathy, so thank you so much for your time. We, we love seeing you in Vegas and we can't wait to see you succeed again this time around. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my dear. Hey, you know what? I, I'm taking those kisses and I'm keeping them close to my heart and I'm never washing it again. See, it's like I'm the bachelorette already. <laughs> Where's my rose? You get the final rose always. That's why we love Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Yeah.